So I look at this, there's a bedroom over here, there's a bedroom over here. Now this area here, what do you suppose that is? That's right. That's the bathroom. And this is kind of a cool setup for a bathroom. This is called a Jack and Jill bathroom. Because see, you can enter the bathroom right here with this door from this bedroom. And you come in this way, and the bedroom over here, you can open up this door. You can do the same thing. That way they can, they can maximize all their space here. Here's a toilet here. It's called a water closet. And that's what that looks like. The sink, the vanity sink, the bathroom sink, and a cabinet. That's, that line is where the cabinet is, right here. And then there's a sink right there. Okay, so you walk in this door. There's a sink right off to your right. And then behind the door is your toilet. Then you open the pocket door right here, and here's where your tub is. You got the same thing over here for this person. Okay, now somehow, if somebody's taking a shower or taking uh, a nice soak in the hot tub, and they don't want their brother or sister running in on them, on this pocket door, they're going to have to have a lock or something on that pocket door so that they can lock this one. If this person over here is coming into the bathroom, they can come over here and lock this door if they're in the shower area. If they're not in the shower area or the, or the bathtub, let's say, then they can just keep this pocket door closed and they can be in their bathroom here and this person can be in their bathroom over here, vice versa. So that's kind of how that works. So generally, the plans aren't much bigger than this. I mean, this is, this is about the size. And so if, you gotta, if you're hard on seeing, <laughs> you might have to get a magnifying glass out, have some glasses on. I, I got to squint sometimes because there's lots of things in here. Because see, I got to look at every single one of these numbers and correspond it with my chart over here on the right. So I understand exactly what's going on there. And on some other things, there might just be some symbols. So I'm going to look at this chart over here, look at the corresponding symbol, and come back over to the bathroom and see what it all means. Then I'll know exactly what all is in each bathroom and above the, the cabinetry, above the tub, and in this area here, what types of lights and all that kind of stuff. So it's all there just waiting for you to read.